We are reading from the Holy Bible, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried in through the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuse, Selah. Come, behold, the works of Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariots in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuse Selah. Shall we pray? Loving Heavenly Father, in the precious and mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins and rose again on the third day, we are very thankful today for this blessed occasion Thou hast granted to us for the induction of these aircrafts to our country. We thank Thee and praise Thee, Lord, for the way Thou art blessing our country. And we specially pray that Thou would keep this aircraft safe we pray for the safety of the pilots. And Lord, we pray for our leaders, especially Honorable President, Prime Minister, Home Minister, and Defense Minister. We pray, Lord, that Thou would grant them Thy heavenly wisdom, that they may be able to take wise decisions so that people may live in peace and it may be for the safety of our country. Lord, we pray that Thou would uh, Keep us all in peaceful atmosphere. Father, our safety doesn't depend upon the weapons we possess, but the Bible says our safety is in the hands of living God. So, Father, we pray that Thou would bless our country so that India may prosper and excel, peace may prevail amongst people, and thus we may live for Thy glory. For we ask all these things in the name and for the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.